<laughs> it's time for more clothing dye, and this time I'm going with eggplant. This shirt. Oh, wind. Hair and lip, <laughs> lip gloss. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. Eggplant is what I'm experimenting with today, and this top was the inspiration for eggplant. This cute little thumb hole top is by Free People, and they call this color plum. I couldn't find plum, but within the RIT, within the RIT fabric dye line of colors, the closest thing I could find to plum was eggplant. And I'm dyeing a lot of stuff, so I decided I'm gonna use two bottles. One of my fabulous $6 t-shirts from J. Crew. Thank you very much, J. Crew, for the fabulous sale. This only came in white and navy. Boring. How cute is this little denim jacket? This is an old Levi's jacket. Super cute details on the cuff, little buttons. I love the way it's got this cut down here but it's such a boring color. I'm gonna dye this eggplant. Super boring white top. Don't need another white t-shirt, but I love the eyelet detail. This is from Bowdoin, UK. This is going eggplant. This is Truly Madly Deepy from Anthropology. No, no, no. Is this Anthropology? I don't know. I think it came from Anthropology, but it's been washed a thousand times and it's all faded and looking kind of tired. I'm gonna freshen it up with eggplant. I love this sweatshirt. It's perfect for walking and hiking or going to the beach, throwing it on when it gets chilly. But again, it's been washed a thousand times and it's faded. So, oh, eh, hair in the lip gloss. Ugh. So we're gonna dye this eggplant. See if we can make it look a little fresh and pretty. All of these items are cotton. They will all take the dye really well. The polyester cotton blend does not take the dye quite so well. For example, this was a white t-shirt. I attempted to dye it violet by RIT and it turned out light pink, not violet. So I'm going to attempt one more time with eggplant, see if I can get it darker. And this cute little dress is also a synthetic blend. Cotton and who knows what blend, some sort of man-made fabric. It's got this beautiful detailing on the bottom. Very simple little sundress, white and see-through and so boring. So I'm hoping I can make this fabulous with eggplant. So keep your fingers crossed. Let's see how I do. I'll be back. The clothes are soaking. I only filled the tub up halfway, probably not quite halfway with hot water, dumped in both bottles of RIT fabric dye eggplant. Then I added all the clothing that I want today. Then I let it agitate a little bit to get the dye completely mixed up in the water, the clothes completely soaked. And then I'm just going to stop it and let it soak for about 20 minutes and see how we're doing. And then if it looks like they need a little bit more time, I'll do another 20 minutes. The synthetic fabric dress actually took the dye a lot better than I was expecting, except at the bottom. The man-made fabric t-shirt that didn't take the violet dye also did not take the eggplant. My ratty old lavender t-shirt is now a nice vibrant eggplant color. This took the dye really well. And my nice eggplant LL Bean sweatshirt that was previously a very faded lavender color. It's nice and vibrant again. Chicka bomb, chicka bomb, bomb. Look at that. That's what I call eggplant success. And I wanted you to see the difference between the eggplant and the violet. That's the little white eyelet J. Crew top that I dyed violet next to the white J. Crew top that I dyed eggplant. They're both beautiful colors. And my little cotton eyelet top from Bowdoin UK. Look at how cute that eyelet turned out. And I'm noticing with the eggplant a lot less modeling than what was going on with the violet that I did last time. And it might be because I did two bottles of the eggplant versus one bottle of the violet. My old beige Levi denim jacket turned out awesome. And look at, at the last minute, 
I decided to throw into the wash this little lace trimmed cotton tank top. I had dyed this a pale pink a long time ago and it just kept fading and fading as it was being washed in hot water. So I re-dyed it eggplant and it is so cute. And once again, so interesting how the different fabrics, different lace, different trim, different stitching takes the dye, doesn't take the dye. It, it really creates this nice contrast. I love the contrast between the lighter stitching against the eggplant colored denim. Thanks for joining me on yet another adventure via RIT fabric dye. Take care and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.